Welcome to BISP Solutions. I'm Siyanshi Jain, and today we will see how to load range of uh, range of periods using multiple files. By multiple files, we can have uh, 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 by, we mean like for suppose we have the data for the month of January, we have the data for month of February, March, and so on. Similarly, I've created the uh, Excel file for the month of January. It contains the account name, alias name, entity amount. Likewise, for the month of February account alias name entity amount and uh, february has entity s102 whereas january has entity s101 and uh, march has entity s104 in the normal case scenario we used to load only the single file so today we will see how to load multiple file into our data management we go to the application click on data management We'll go to set a tab, define our source system. Our source system is already defined, that is file. Then target application is already, again, already defined. When console consolidation, then we will create our import format. We'll click on add. Give it the name as multi range. multi range underscore IMF. Source is file, target is when's console. Now, file type will be data, delimited numeric data, and then we will save it. Now, we will map the following. Uh, accounts account has field number one we will save it amount it has dimension four we click on save data source, give the field number, any field number, let's give it as three, and then we will define the expression as FCCS underscore manage data. We'll click on save. Then next dimension we have entity. Entities are is our uh, is our field number three. So we need not define the expression. Then we have the intercompany. Oh sorry, we have from currency. I skipped the from currency. We have from from currency. Field number, we can give it as three. Then we will define the expression here, entity currency. Click on save. Then we have intercompany. Three. Expression for intercompany will be FCCS underscore no intercompany. Uh, I think this uh, O will be in small, otherwise it will not provide the desired result. Now, movement. Expression will be FCCS underscore no movement.
multi gap xcs local gap we'll click on save uh, then last dimension of we have is product We'll copy it. And we will provide its expression as no product. Now we will save it. Now we will go to location and create a location. We'll click on add. Name it as multi range. underscore LOC then we will provide the import format this is our import format multi range underscore IMF we just created a previous step and source is file that is correct uh, target is correct functional currency rest will remain the same then we will save it now we will go to workflow data load mapping we will change our POV, location is multi-range underscore LOC, then period will be uh, January 15, let's take it as January 15, then we'll click on OK, and then we will provide the mapping. We'll choose the light mapping, click on add, source value will be star, target value will be star, then rule name it as M1, and then we'll click on save, then uh, data source, data source is system generated, so we'll just save it, entity, we'll click on add, source value as star, Target value is star. Rule name will be M2. We will save it. From currency, add star star M3. Then again, intercompany. Intercompany, we will click on add. Source value as star, target value as star, rule name will be M4. Then next is our movement. This is again system generated dimension. So we will just click on save. Then our next is multi gap, again system generated. So we will click on save. Then we have product. We will click on add. Provide the value as star, source value as star, target value is also star, and rule name will be M5. Click on save. Then we will go to data load rule, create a file, name it as multi range underscore DLR, then category is actual, it will provide the import format, import format, multi range, multi range IMF, click on OK, and then we'll save it. Now we'll select the file, We will create a folder over here. I've already created the folder named multi underscore period range. Then I've uh, uploaded the file. I will show you once again how I've uploaded the file. 
have created the folder multi range parent this is the folder this is uh, this is the folder i have created to create folder then i, I will upload the my files which excel files which i have created i will click on upload choose the file choose multi period range jan click on okay now again i will click on upload click on feb okay upload then i will select the march file then i will click on okay this is how my three files have been uploaded by creating the folder i will click on okay you could see here file name multi underscore period underscore range underscore feb 15 dot csv so we will remove feb 15 and then we will add file name so fix type we will uh, click here and we will add we will select period name and then we will save it then we will click on execute import from source and start period will be january 15 as we have multiple period also we will uh, give the our end period our end period is march 15 we will click on run okay click on refresh then we will go to data load workbench you could see a file has been imported now we will click on export replace okay we will do this step for three times because we have three uh, range of periods it's taking a bit oh it got processed now we will change our pov from uh, in, our, in our POV, we will change the period from January to February. Then only we could validate the data for the three months. February 15, rest will remain same. Then we will again go to data load rule. We will again execute, click on execute. Import from source. Start period will be 15. End period will be March 15. Import mode will be replaced. And then we will click on run. Okay, refresh, go to data load workbench. Again, we will do the ex uh, export part. We could see the entity has been changed from S101 to S102 because this is February file. Click on export, mode will be replaced. Then we'll click on okay. could see third golden fish that means the process was correct similar process we will do for the month of march period will be march may ask we click on okay then we will go to data load rule and execute it import from source now start period is also 15 and end period is also 15 we will just click on run okay then we will click on refresh data load workbench we we'll click on export we could see the entity as 104 replace Okay. Our March file also got validated and exported. Now to see its impact, we will see its impact on in Smart View. I've already created the Smart View. Like South Entity South one zero one one zero two one zero four for January February March financial year. This is for the accounts. 
and these are my POV they have already defined. I will change my one of my POV that is data source to manage data. And then I will click on refresh. I could see the result. Let's compare it once for the month of February, uh, sorry, January. My amount, uh, my uh, uh, for my account name, BNK checking account, my amount was 90,000. BNB checking account, my amount is 90,000. BNK treasury account, my amount is 30,000. For BNK uh, two checking account, amount is 80,000. I could see 80,000. Cash is negative 40,000. Cash is negative 40,000. Short term investments is 20,000. Short term investment is 20,000. Similarly, we can check for the month of February and March. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our video. For any queries, please reach out as at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.